30 times. Ten times more. Two times more. Letting go and stop. The one thing I've learned in my research above all else is that in the absence of love and belonging, there's always suffering. Mm. So when I hear about your experiences growing up, that's suffering, yeah. you know, that's real suffering. And for me, not making the drill team when I was, I think it was in eighth grade, by itself is not a lot, but how my family responded to it. It was like when things changed for me and I didn't feel like I belonged to my family anymore. So I think that I still am trying to figure it out. I don't know. I don't know that I've inter I don't know that I've interviewed anyone, even spiritual leaders, who have the belonging thing completely nailed. Because I don't think it is what we think it is. You know, I don't think that it's having a big posse of friends, or having a crew, or rolling with a bunch of people. I think I'm still trying to figure it out because I still feel lonely and alone, and on the outside of things, on a really regular basis. Really. Thirty times. Ten times more. Two times more. Letting go and stop. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're going on a book tour with thousands of people, yeah. a 15 city tour, yeah. millions of fans around the world, and you still feel alone. Yeah, I can feel really lonely. Why? And it's really hard because, you know, you talk about that book tour. I'm a severely introverted. Yes. Super private. And so I love that connection between me and an audience, but it can also be hard on me. And also, I'm talking about things that no one. It's weird to me that people sign up to talk about them, but they're hard topics sometimes. And we laugh and we have fun and we'll sing. But um, I think what I've learned in doing the research on belonging is that belonging is being a part of something bigger than yourself, but it's also the courage to stand alone 
and to belong to yourself above all else. And so I think I spend a lot of time belonging to myself and sometimes that makes other people uncomfortable. And so I think that's hard. I think I do feel, I'm always looking for, I don't know about you, but I'm always looking for the roadmap. Like I wanna find the researcher, storyteller, Christian, lover of all people, fighter of the resistance. I wanna find the blueprint of who's ahead of me believing what I believe in and doing it really well. There's not really a blueprint sometimes. From, you know, like We're all a trying to figure it out. Yeah. We're all trying to figure yeah. it out. Thirty times. <sighs> Ten times more. Two times more. Letting go and stop. I don't get to copy anybody. And so it's hard. Yeah. It's still hard. But here's a thing that has changed everything for me. I belong to me. So even when I feel alone and I wonder like, who's my crew and who are my people? Um, I belong to me for sure. For the first time in my life, maybe. Yeah. And I think we lose ourselves sometimes by trying to belong in groups that we don't fit in. Yeah. You know, I remember being, in, you know, the youngest on these sports teams growing up. I was playing on the junior varsity as a freshman or the varsity or whatever. So yeah. I was the youngest, and I remember just wanting to fit in, just yeah. like you did in the yeah. uh, that team. I wanted to fit in. I wanted to feel like they liked me, like I mattered, yeah. like I was the cool kid or whatever. Yeah. And when they would do things that I didn't really agree with, or they would bully other kids or make fun of people, it's like I didn't want to not say anything. You know, I didn't want to stand against them because I wanted no. to belong. Yeah. So if I did stand up against them, then that means I was alone. And that was my biggest fear, was being alone. Oh, yeah, because that's what, that's what teams and groups deliver. Mm -hmm. They deliver this thing that you're not alone. Yeah. The problem is there's just, I was so shocked to learn in the research that the opposite of belonging is fitting in. Because fitting in is assessing a group of huh. people and thinking, who do I need to be? What do I need to say? What do I need to wear? How do I need to act? And changing who you are. And true belonging never asks us to change who we are. It demands that we be who we are. Because if we, if we, be, if we fit in because how we've changed ourselves, that's not belonging. That's not belonging because you betrayed yourself for other people. Mm. And that's not sustainable.